Hi, my name is Eve Campbell. I'm the Director of Fieldwork here at the Ackle Archaeological Field School. So I just want to chat to you a little bit about um, one of our excavations that we've been doing this year in 2017. Um, during uh, July and August we're excavating a site known as the Cromlech Tumulus and it's a fantastic experience uh, settlement site upon the slopes of Sleepmore. The name is a little bit confusing. It actually comes from the, uh, from the, the name given to the site on the first edition Ordnance Survey map of um, 1838. So people knew that there was something here from the mid 19th century, but they weren't really sure exactly what it was. And archaeologists have debated uh, exactly what the site has been uh, over those years. So some archaeologists thought it was perhaps uh, some kind of tomb, tumulus, as the name suggests, while others were more dismissive and thought it was maybe a series of hot sites or. Um, or so in 2014, the Ackle Archaeological Field School decided to start a project at the site to get to the bottom of what the monument actually was. Um, and the first uh, three seasons of field work were directed by Stuart Rathbone, um, and I have directed the, the fourth and final season here. So our uh, investigations have revealed that the site is uh, a lot more complex, I think, than we would have thought. Um, the main element of the structure is a, a large um, Middle Bronze Age roundhouse. Um, it dates to about between uh, 12 and 1400 uh, BC. Um, and there's a number of other features connected to the building. So um, we have part of a pre-bog wall that runs in to meet the monument. It's noted on the first edition map as the Danish ditch. We also have a number of medieval and post-medieval hut sites overlying the, uh, the, the Bronze Age roundhouse. This year we've been focusing on the area to the east of the entrance of the Middle Bronze Age building and we've added a whole two new phases to the, east, to the site. Most excitingly we found a Folloctophia or a Bronze Age boiling trough um, which comes after the abandonment of the, the, the Bronze Age roundhouse and, uh, and also down at the very bottom layers of the site we, we've come across a layer of, sort of gravel and sand associated with the stream bed and it is what we think so we're stretching back the history of the site from uh, 3,000 years to perhaps as, lot, as old as 5,000 years old. And over to my left here is our most exciting find of 2017. So what we have here is a Bronze Age boiling trough. Hi, I'm Marissa Miller. I'm from Michigan and I'm going to talk about one of our most exciting finds. Uh, it's a Falakfia or a burnt mound. It was used as a cooking pit in the later Bronze Age. Uh, when we first were digging the site, we discovered this wall and it is very much different than the rest of the Middle Bronze Age house. Uh, once we got it to level, uh, down to where these stone slabs are right here, uh, the stone slabs covered this entire middle open section and it was covered with stones and filled in with clay and a significant amount of charcoal. Uh, then we brought it all the way down and discovered that all the sides were lined with stones. So that's when we sort of decided that this had to be a Philadelphia. Uh, another a support of that is that this whole side of the trench was filled with burnt stone. Um, hello, my name is Robert Felvey. I'm working here this year with the Archaeology Field School um, in Ackle Island. I just thought I'd show you a few things we found this year. So I suppose the, uh, one of the main finds we got this year was this uh, leaf-shaped arrowhead. It's a fantastic example of um, a Neolithic arrowhead. Uh, it's made from, from chert. Um, you, there's some really detailed retouching on this. Um, what's interesting about this arrowhead was that it came from one of the really lower levels um, uh, around our site, just exterior to the uh, house. So it tells us that the people who were around this area for much longer. Um, it was a really unique moment when we found this. Um, it's one of the best examples I've ever found. Um, and it's just really exciting for people to see this kind of stuff coming out of the ground, especially here on, on the Apple Island. Um, so, this is what we'd sort of you'd expect to find of a stone tool when you're digging up an excavation, because pretty much they're work to work until they are helping. Um, we also found a lot of 